Sandra Oh has built a career from the ground up and has been in many movies and TV shows such as Sideways, Grey's Anatomy, The Princess Diaries, and Killing Eve. Most people know her as Dr. Christina Young from the TV show Grey's Anatomy, where she brought her dedication as an actress and artist for over 10 seasons. But there's a lot more to her than just this one role. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Sandra Oh. She speaks multiple languages. Sandra Oh's parents moved from South Korea to Nepean, a suburb of Ottawa, Canada, where she and her siblings were raised in a small Korean community. With Korean parents and a childhood spent in Ottawa, it's no surprise that she has led a multilingual lifestyle from day one. She is skilled in Korean, English, French, and Spanish. She learned French while studying at the National Theatre School of Canada in Montreal, Quebec. And later on, she also picked up Spanish. She got her start as a teen. Sandra Oh started loving performance arts when she began ballet at four years old. She started ballet to help with her pigeon toe, a condition that affects the way one walks. But by her teenage years, she realized acting was her true passion, especially after watching a production of Annie, which left her amazed and eager to act. With the encouragement of her sister, Grace, she started acting around age 12, participating in plays, operettas, and even a Canadian improv competition. By the age of 15, she had an agent and got her big break in the diary of Evelyn Lau. Her parents didn't approve of her acting career. Her journey to becoming an actress wasn't easy. Her parents didn't want her to become an actress. They wanted her to study journalism instead. She revealed on the Ellen DeGeneres show that she had to go against her parents' wishes to pursue acting. She said, My parents at that time really looked down on the arts. Even though her parents didn't support her dream at first, this actually helped her become stronger. She felt that if she could pursue acting despite her parents saying no, then she wouldn't be afraid of other challenges. Her parents came around to her chosen career and validated her acting skills after she landed one of her early big roles, eventually becoming her biggest supporter. Her risky audition and first big break Sandra Oh got her first big break in the movie The Diary of Evelyn Lau, where she played a young poet who struggles with drugs and sex work. She was only 19 when she auditioned for this role, and she did something very bold during her audition. She asked for a moment of focus and then decided to lie on the floor for five minutes before getting up and doing her piece. This unusual method surprised the film's director, Sterla Gunnarsson, because it was not something you'd expect someone so young to do. Later, Oh talked about how proud she was of her younger self. She told Vulture, I really admire who that person was at that moment who just said, I don't know what the rules are. I'm going to lie down. That person took her time and was unapologetic about it. She experienced hard times in Hollywood. When Sandra O oh first tried to make it in Hollywood in 1995, she faced a tough time. She met with an agent who bluntly told her she wasn't leading lady material and suggested she should get plastic surgery. The agent even said there were no roles for her and advised her to go back home and get famous there. Although O had already made a name for herself in Canada, she revealed how the harsh words affected her at the time, saying, It just cut me at the knees. Still, she forged on, painstakingly building a career with a long-running role as the title character's assistant on HBO's Arliss, a scene-stealing turn in 2001's The Princess Diaries, and parts as Diane Lane's best friend in 2003's Under the Tuscan Sun, and Thomas Haddon Church's spurned love interest in 2004's Sideways, before becoming famous by embodying cutthroat cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Christina Yang on Grey's Anatomy. She originally auditioned for another Grey's Anatomy character. Sandra Oh is most famous for playing Christina Yang on Grey's Anatomy, but not many people know she initially planned to audition for the character Dr. Bailey. When she went to the audition, Oh realized Dr. Bailey wasn't the right fit for her and became interested in Christina Yang instead. However, she didn't audition for Christina Yang right away because her manager called her with bad news about her contract. She told in style, she said, they won't sign your deal, leave, walk out, and I was just like, ah, okay. It was a real exercise in learning how to say no. But things worked out in the end because the show's producers reached out to her afterward and offered her the role of Christina Yang. She took a prop from Grey's Anatomy. When Sandra O oh left Grey's Anatomy, she was keen on taking some memorable items from the set, like Christina's wedding dress, scrubs, and stethoscope. However, the one item she did manage to take was a rug from Owen and Christina's apartment, which she has placed in her living room. She told People magazine, The best thing I've ever taken from a set is the rug in Owen and Christina's apartment on Grey's Anatomy before they broke up. 
She went to therapy when deciding to leave Grey's Anatomy. Saying goodbye is never easy, but for Sandra O, oh, saying goodbye to a show and to a character that she spent years of her life playing was one of the hardest moments in her career. In 2013, she decided it was time to move on to new projects. She told The Hollywood Reporter that she felt she had done everything she could with the character and was ready to say goodbye, even though it was a difficult decision. She mentioned that she had to go through a lot of therapy to deal with leaving the show. She started preparing to leave in 2012, which helped her emotionally detach and ensure her departure was respectful to her character's journey. She made history at the Golden Globes. Sandra oh has broken several barriers in her career, becoming a trailblazer for Asian women in Hollywood. In 2019, she made history as the first Asian woman to host the Golden Globe Awards, where she gave a memorable monologue with Andy Samberg. During the show, she paused the humor to express her emotions about the significant number of nominations for creators and actors of color that year, emphasizing the importance of the moment. That same evening, she won a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Television Drama Series for her role in Killing Eve, adding to her first Golden Globe win in 2006 for Grey's Anatomy. With this win, she became the first Asian woman to receive multiple Golden Globe Awards. Reflecting on the night, she said it was one of the most incredible nights of her life. She has a key to the city. Sandra Oh is celebrated in Canada for her achievements in acting. In 2011, she was honored on the Canadian Walk of Fame in Ontario. Eleven years later, she represented Canada at Queen Elizabeth II state funeral. In 2013, the mayor of Ottawa awarded her the key to the city in recognition of her work and success. She's among notable recipients like author Margaret Atwood and photographer Yousef Karsh. Though she also has U.S. citizenship, Sandra Oh considers Canada her primary home. She mentioned in a Saturday Night Live monologue in 2019 how being Canadian has shaped her, humorously noting her struggle to embrace the American confidence in self-promotion.